The one thing everybody was waiting for at the uh, preliminary hearing for Christian Carl Gerhardt's rider was the testimony of this man, Jan Elnor, San Marino barber, and a man who knew uh, Christian Carl Gerhardt's rider uh, for several years. So what we're going to do is we're going to recreate what his testimony might, might have been like. I'm, gonna, I'm Frank Gerardo. I'm the editor of the Pasadena Star News. And uh, later on, you're going to see Ben Bader. Uh, he's a reporter with our newspaper group. So uh, he's going to uh, play the role of a defense attorney uh, for Mr. Gerhardt's writer. So anyway, here we go. Uh, hi, good afternoon, uh, Jan. Can you first of all uh, state and spell your name? Uh, my name is John, J-A-N, Eldnor, E-L-D-N-O-R. And you uh, have an office in San Marino? Yes. What do you do? I'm a hairstylist barber in San Marino. Hairstylist and a barber in San Marino. Yes. Did uh, and, and we, I understand that uh, several years ago you had an occasion to uh, to meet a man who came from Europe. Yes. Uh, what was that? What did that man call himself? He called Sam Christopher Chichester. If, if I were to show you a picture of that man, would you recognize him? Yes. Okay. Is this the man? That's the man, correct. About what year was it that you first met Mr. Christopher Chichester? It must have been around 81. 1981? Right. And, w and what was the occasion? Oh, he was uh, recommended by uh, a well-known man in San Marino named uh, Ken Veranda. And he had tell him to go to me because I was from Europe and he might have interest to meet me. Did he speak any languages other than English? Uh, he just speak English and for sure with a real British accent. He spoke English with a British accent? Yes. And uh, over the course of uh, several years, how many times a week or a month did you happen to see him? Oh, he used to come to me once once a month or twice a month, but he often dropped by, by my shop in the morning just to sit here to read the paper and uh, get in contact with my customers. Uh, did you know where he was living when you first met him? I don't know what he was living. He said uh, different places that he was in San Marino, but he even mentioned that he was in Alhambra and San Gabriel. Did you ever know of him to live at 1920 Lorraine Road? Uh, later on, when he uh, had been uh, recommended by some girls that he might have a chance to live there, he, uh, he told me that he was living with uh, Didi Suhas. Did you know Didi? Yes. I uh, meet her at different occasions, but mostly when she bring her son John up for haircut. Even if he was in high school age, uh, the mother go with him up to me to direct me how to give him the correct haircut. What sort of a uh, woman was Dee? Oh, she was a woman who even, you know, after school, three in the afternoon, seems to already have start have her drinks or medicine or something like that. Did she smoke? Yes. Back then, the people was even smoking right here in my shop. When was the last time you saw the defendant in this case? The last time uh, was when he come up one evening. Uh, there was must have been eighty five, and uh, yeah, excuse me, do you remember about what time that in eighty five? Oh, there must have been around six to seven o'clock. I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, what what time of year? Oh, time of year. It was in the spring. So in about the spring of 85 was yes. what you recall being your last encounter? Last, last encounter. And did he say anything to you at that time? Oh, he told me that this be my last haircut. And I asked why. And he told me that he had get a call from London, England. And an important relative had died and he had to go to England next morning to take care of a big estate. And I asked him, uh, when are you coming back? And he said, well, I might never come back because it's a big estate and I 
have to spend the rest of my life in England. Do you remember if he was driving or if he walked here? Uh, what I remember, he was driving. And uh, what I recall, it could have been mostly the truck. And did you see the truck? Uh, that evening I don't see the truck, but I have seen him driving the truck before. Hey, let's describe, let's go back a step. Uh, do you know, you, you had seen him driving this truck? Yes. And what sort of truck was it? Oh, there was, uh, you know, uh, oh, was it a Datsun or Toyota, but it was uh, one of the Japanese smaller trucks. And, and this is a pickup truck? A pickup truck. And did this truck belong to uh, the man you knew as uh, Christopher Chichester? Uh, there was not uh, belonging to him, but I think Didi Suhas let him drive the truck who was really uh, the son's truck. So, and about what time did she start letting him drive it? What, about what year? There must have been when uh, he, uh, he and his wife left San Marino and the truck was just here and there must have been for sure in the 1985. Okay, uh, nothing further. Thank you. Hey, Jan. My name's Ben Bader. Um, so, when did this truck that you talked about, do you remember what color it was? It was a white truck. And do you remember if it, you didn't, did you know the make? Like the brand? Oh, not really. They could have been Toyota or Datsun. Okay, now, um, had you seen him in a different car before that? Yes, I see him in his uh, old Plymouth Arrow. The yeah, Plymouth, what kind of, what does that car look like? Oh, there was a car with different colors. Both the, oh, they had a different color on the, all the fenders and doors and everything like that. It was really a put together car. You mean like it was beat up? Uh, beat or up and uh, repaired with different parts. Okay. So there was a car which, if you dri drive that in San Marino, you mostly get stopped and questioned. Okay, so, because there's a lot of nice cars in this community, you're saying? Uh, correct. Okay, so, the truck, you said you saw him with it before, about when did you see him? Oh, you know, I, uh, I'm a member of uh, San Marino City Club, and I frequent guests to the Rotary Club, and all the different other outfits in San Marino, and I go to many of the lunches, and I always see Chichester there. Okay, now this truck that you, uh, do you don't, do you remember anything else specific about the truck? I, but uh, what I, what I recall was that there was, you know, uh, John Suha's truck. Mm -hmm. It was not, not uh, a truck who belongs to Chichester. Okay, and. Um, you also spoke about the final conversation you had with Mr. Chichester, who you knew as Mr. Chichester. Right. Um, how specifically do you remember that? Did he, did he say London? Did he say where he was going in London? And he don't say why he was going in London. He just say London, England. Okay. And did he seem? What was it? Did he seem happy to go? Sad to go? Oh, he. You know, he acted. Uh, you know, like he was sad to go. I could get the call. And then he have to go, but uh, at the same time, for sure, if the now was a big estate, he might was happy to go too. So did he see like he wasn't trying to hide that he was leaving at all? No, he had tell other people in San Marino a similar story about England. Okay, so every people who knew him generally knew he was about to leave. Uh, yes, and it wasn't a secret. No, that's all.